Good morning, YouTube. Hey guys, before you, the upgraded gearbox from the Scar L from Double Bell. Uh, a while ago, I uploaded a video that I bought two used guns, one completely scratched, that was this one, the Scar L, and another one that was, uh, yeah, still complete, a 6, 556 five, shorty. Now, in the last video, I showed you the internals of the stuck gun from the Scar and how they came to me and my future plans on uh, what I would still use and not use and replace and everything, yada, yada, yada. Now, to be honest, before you, the only two parts that I keep using from the stock original complete gearbox is the selector play because it's prioritary to the scar. I can't use the uh, M4 one. Uh, piston heads and that's all it everything else has been changed out for or other brand or other upgrade parts and mostly has to do with how badly this gearbox was made I'm still surprised that it has a pass QA sticker like hey it works it can be sold but yeah this, this China gun and everything but a small thing to tell, uh, this one, I don't know if you see it direct so good. Now it's rich, it doesn't prevent the gearbox from fully closing. Now I can grind this down flat, I need to remove this, this and this. Then I need to lower this and this bushing. Then I got on the other side, some issue that the spur gear is hitting the anti reverse latch hole. Here is... Um, an aluminium mark from uh, molding that should be grinded away. There was so much work on this that I maybe needed two hours or an hour with the drilling machine. Also weird scratches on the back and not the front. So it could be from factory or it could be from the previous owner. I'm not sure, but I thought, hey, let's begin with it freshly gearbox and I really recommend this when something doesn't want to work don't go manti on it and keep working it for weeks and days and everything it's bad to start just with a root gearbox like this it's s and in my area they brand it like Delta Armory it's really simple really easy it works it only costs like 40 euros 50 euros it's a lot less hassle especially when you need to get projects done so after all this complaining, now comes the good part. Gearbox. I've got uh, SHS piston or Phoenix Alpha piston. Speed one. I've got a SHS nozzle, SHS stepper plate. I got the original from the STI gearbox. Cylinder head and cylinder. I've got um, GMT. 13 to 1 gear set ratio. They're, I think 100% the SHS. But they don't have any markings on them. I short stroked the sector gear to 10 teeth, so from 60 to 10. That's a really big gap, but I want to try it. I've got the original trigger, the SCI gearbox come with a flat trigger. I've got uh, a pre run hybrid V2 rear wired. I did some extra tape because the cables of the pre run V2 hybrid they're really known for snapping and cutting from the gearbox so always you uh, place some extra yeah just electrical wire electrical tape sorry just the cheap stuff doesn't have to be expensive but this will prevent when the um, the wires are moving from cutting themselves and it's a whole lot less 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 hassle now one thing i've got here because i have it hidden with a euro coin i've got um uh, how do you say that in English? I've got a alpha model of an Piron hybrid accessory that will be available soon, but I won't show it for now and what it does, everything. I will keep quiet about it, but it will fit in your gearbox and it will work with the MOSFET. Everything else, the spring that I'm going to use is an M130. I think I will reach over 1.2 joules, what is the maximum in my country, and then I will or place it down or use a different spring but I run out of M125 so I'm gonna use an M130 and maybe shorten it a little bit so this was again a whole mouthful 
but like always, keep trying, keep going to the field, make airsoft great again, and see you all in the next video.